Hello everyone, welcome to Footy Adventures. It is my third stadium tour on the channel and my first one for absolutely ages. And it's a pretty big one. At the Bernabeu. So when you first enter the stadium, you'll need to, well, we bought our tickets online so we didn't have to queue up but you can buy them at the stadium beforehand it's not very busy when we're here it is january though so not the height of summer when you do get your tickets though you just get a pdf emailed to your email address that you buy the tickets with and you make your entrance via tower b and it opens at 9 30 in the morning and is open till 7 at night so like I mentioned, you come in via Tower B and then you make your way right to the very top of the tower and get a good panoramic view of the pitch uh, before making your way down to where like the dressing rooms are and the museum, I think. So we're on our way there now. So once you've been up to the panoramic views, you make your way downstairs a couple of levels and you come to the area where you can buy your audio guides. We didn't want an audio guide. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, it is a self-guided tour. You can get all the information online that you want about Real Madrid and the stadium. So let's get through there. So right after the audio guide sales desk, you come into what seems to be probably the biggest museum and trophy room that I've ever seen at a football club. The reason I am just voicing over a lot of this section is because of these screens that I just pointed out, playing a lot of old legendary moments from Real Madrid's past. There's a lot of commentary, a lot of music on there and I want you to be able to hear me properly when I'm going through the trophy room. These trophies that I am just pointing out here are from some of the oldest parts of the club's history. Where you start in the trophy room is furthest back in the past and here are a few trophies from the 1930s and the 1950s and the earlier 1900s from when Real Madrid were first kind of just starting out as a football team and becoming a force in world football. Here are now some of the screens behind me and behind the trophy cabinets that just show some of the legendary moments from Real Madrid's history. You can see Zidane here, players like Solari all celebrating during Champions League finals and Super Cup finals, Spanish Cup finals and everything you can imagine. Now just making our way through the years, you can see a few of the old European Cups and here is me just saying how impressive the start of this trophy room is as part of the tour after seeing the panoramic views. Again, a completely self-guided tour. You're just going around here on your own. Here are some of the UEFA Cup trophies that they've won, as well as now just pointing out a few match-worn shirts from classic moments in the club's past. Shirts from players like Hugo Sanchez, who are absolute legends of the game and absolute legends here at Real Madrid. A few Spanish Super Cups and as we work our way through there are even more cups to look at. Spanish Super Cups again, Spanish Cups, La Liga titles, so many domestic honours that this club have won. Also as part of the trophy room are these interactive screens where you can basically scroll through and have a look at what Real Madrid have won in the past. By competition along the bottom, I've clicked on the amount of leagues that they've won, 33, and then it brings them up year by year, and you can just scroll through. So here's Zidane getting lifted by the players, 2017, 2012, 2008, Raul Van Nistelrooy of 2007, Galacticos of 2003, as you make your way through the years. Here's Michael Laudrup in the 90s, and a few of the Champions Leagues that Real Madrid have won as well coming up through the years when they won three in a row. Oh, and there's Gareth Bale. So we got to the stadium tour nice and early, opens at 9.30, we were pretty much the first ones there. And that being the case, you are first into all the trophy rooms and stuff like that. So if you wanna get some good photos and really spend some time in there on your own, it is best to get in early, maybe go later, I'm not too sure, we wanted to get in there early and see all these kind of pieces of memorabilia, match-worn shirts from the times of Beckham and Zidane and Figo. Trophies now that the club have won, these whited out Champions Leagues, we will be seeing a lot more Champions Leagues in a minute. There is a room full of the 13 European Cups and Champions Leagues that Real Madrid have won. 
And there's a reason why this trophy room is so big. They are one of the most successful teams the world has ever seen. Coming up now to more match worn shirts. Here is a match signed shirt from 2011. Signed by the entire squad. I wonder how much that is worth. Probably absolutely thousands of euros. More shirts here. The black shirt there, the away shirt, is worn by Roberto Carlos in a match. More from Roberto Carlos here. They are his boots on the right, the Nike boots, and then David Beckham's boots in the middle and Guti's Puma boots on the left there. La Liga trophy is the biggest one. Spanish cup with the white ribbons on and balls signed by the players. You get to see so much memorabilia in this place. It is unreal. It's brilliant for any football fan. And here are the whited out Champions League trophies. So they are part of the trophy room, just so you remember that they won them. Club World Cup there as well. They have a whole entire section coming up of their Champions League trophies. So that is why they are all whited out like this. More Club World Cup trophies there as well. Just an absolutely huge room, just full of stuff. Here is their Club World Cup shirt that they worn and a few more match worn shirts from more of a recent era, from more recent times. Captain's armbands from the 2017 season as well as more Champions Leagues obviously as we go through. And here are some of the badges that Real Madrid have worn through their history starting in 1902 and making their way all the way up to the present day. That is us coming to the end of the trophy room. That was a really great way to start. But the Champions League trophies were just weird, little whited out, kind of clay looking trophies. So I'm sure they've got a room somewhere where they've got 13 trophies. But uh, yeah, the self-guided tour continues. Let's carry on. So after the trophy room, you will come to what looks like the area VIP corporate hospitality where the tour continues. So everywhere around this tour, there are these signs, the tour burnabout signs, arrows everywhere. Like I say, it is completely self-guided. It makes it so much easier and you can go around at your own pace. When you're in like a huge group tour, like the MCG tour we did, you don't experience that as much, but I love these self-guided tours. See all the signs make it really easy. And everywhere you come, constant pictures of Real Madrid's history. Boca Juniors and River Plate played there Copa Libertadores final here, which is on the screen just in front of me. Because of all the crowd trouble that was in Argentina at the time, they weren't able to play at their own stadium. But yeah, pretty interesting. And I think that's the Copa Libertadores trophy as well. Yep. Here we come into the VIP area. FIFA Club World Cup shirt. World champions. And here is the, well, a few of the shirts of the current squad. One, two, three to 12. And then 13 and onwards is over here. Don't get their own shirts, but they got to fit everyone in. In the VIP section, this is the Golden Hall of Fame that you come to now. So, Copa in 1958, and then Hugo Sanchez in 1990, Ronaldo 1996, 7, and 2002. Ronaldo's Golden Boot 97, so absolutely. I think these are just like your Ballon d'Ors and World Player of the Year trophies. Zidane's got two here, Luis Figo's got one, and yeah, Michael Owen, 2001, obviously. Let's try and get there before it changes in the next one. Figo, 2001, World Player of the Year trophy, I think that is. And Zidane, 2003, Fabio Cannavaro, Ballon d'Or, 2006. There it is, he won the Ballon d'Or when they won the World Cup, Italy. World Player of the Year, that looks like as well. Yep, FIFA World Player of the Year. Kaka's Ballon d'Or as well, 2007. World Player of the Year, Kaka. And then 
this next section, I guess, is going to be dominated by this person here, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ballon d'Or 2013. Look at that. Can't believe I'm seeing that with my own eyes. This is an absolutely brilliant stadium tour. And here is World Player of the Year 2008, Ike Casillas, Golden Glove for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, which Spain won, obviously, in South Africa. Cristiano Ronaldo, another golden boot, it seems like 2014, maybe La Liga golden boot. Not sure what this says in Spanish, if you know, let me know in the comments. Oh, here we go. My passion, my goals, my assists, my games. I have many years left to play at Real Madrid, and I will always try, my try to give my best. Uh, Luka Modric, Ballon d'Or, yep, there we go. Luka Modric, the best trophy. And it kind of shows you a little bit of when they won it. So this is Modric lifting the Ballon d'Or. This is Modric with the best trophy here. There we go, right. Modric, Modric, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo. Yeah, you get the point. A lot of Ronaldo. FIFA Bronze World Player of the Year, Figo Silver Player of the Year, Bronze Ball, Silver Ball, Silver Ball, Bronze Boot. Right, okay, yeah. So Beckham, Zidane, they've all won the bronzes as well, but I think that's your gold. Their World Player of the Year as well, I think. Third place, okay, they're third place. So you've got all your world player of the years up here in the VIP area, then your second places. They're very proud of their history here, as you would imagine they would be. Ferenc Puskas, absolute legend of the game. Alfredo Di Stefano as well. If you know anything about football, you'd have heard of those two before. And here's a few more modern moments of history. Modric scoring his world here at Old Trafford. Absolutely Brilliant moments for Real Madrid. Bale, Steve McManaman scoring a chip against Barcelona. Sounds of Real Madrid. La Decima song. You can just hear them singing different chants from different games through different moments. To a part of the stadium that stadium tour that I didn't want to see. 2018 Champions League final, Liverpool lost. 2016 final against Atletico Madrid, the Madrid derby in the final. And yeah, so this is just a section all about the Champions League. Steve McManaman. And yeah, just more. So they've got the different shirts from Real Madrid and the team that they played in the Champions League finals. So against Stad Reim in 56, that was the first one that they won. And then you see their number two against Fiorentina. And as you keep making your way around, here's number 12. I showed you the other ones earlier at the start. Number 12 against Juventus in Cardiff. Special moment for Bale to win the Champions League in Cardiff. Champions League medal there from 2016 and a ticket. Here are the European trophies that they've won. Back when it was the Copa di Europa, this is how it looked. And then the Champions League trophies that they've won. The most recent one, 2018 against Liverpool. The one that they won three times. I guess that means it's an official one. I'm not too sure, I'll have to check later on with the white ribbons of Madrid. Here's all the Champions League trophies. Absolutely amazing to see all this history here at Real Madrid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen European Cups. Seven in the modern format, six in the old format. So just made our way past the Champions League trophies. Again, more signs to let you know you're on the tour. Before you go into the changing rooms, there's a section where they have the official Champions League trophy that they won. Um, you can't take a picture of it, although the start of this video did have it on. They charge you extra for that, so it's more way, like, you know, they're going to try and get money out of you on the tour. But still been a brilliant tour so far. Let's see if we can get to the changing rooms. Right, oh, here we go, here we go. I've got to show you this. And we are onto the pitch.
if you could leave a like for this tour it would be amazing what a great tour so far pretty much the only ones out here gotta get here early so just left the pitch and like the seating area actually in the stadium just trying to find the change rooms i really want to get in there before everyone else does um more photo opportunities where you can get your picture taken with a player again just trying to get more money out of the people on the tour just something to be just to remember when you're here if you do want to get those they will cost you extra at the end but yeah need to be the first ones into the change room and it's another chance to come and see the pitch as you make your way through so we are pretty much now the first ones down here this is brilliant this is exactly what you want look at this you get to come like maybe 20 rows back and you get to go right at the top and you get to go in the middle and see the pitch probably time to get a couple of pictures down here i would say oh look at that what a stadium real madrid real madrid real madrid everywhere the blue seats right so after being on the pitch side it looks like we finally found the dressing rooms so the dressing room a little bit of information about it there as you come in a few massage tables that they use on match day no doubt and as you walk through nice little pattern on the walls showers jacuzzi bath i suppose before you make your way into here this is where they have all sit on match day and their shirts above them So once you have been inside the dressing room, which we've just shown you, you again follow the Tor Bernabeu signs, and now you come through the player's tunnel. This is where your Bales and Hazards, Benzema's, Ronaldo's of the past, Zidane's, Figo's and Beckham's would have come out on match day. First show you the dugout before revealing this beautiful stadium. Wow, you really do. When you're down here, when you're actually down here, you can just like feel the size of the place. More than when you're up there or even just there where we were earlier, this feels absolutely massive from down here and you can only feel like what it must feel like to be a player coming out here on match day and it just to be full of people and they're the famous grass of Real Madrid where so much good football has happened over the years so since its completion in 1947 the Bernabeu has been home to Real Madrid as well as hosting Spain's national team games and its current seating capacity is just over 81,000 so absolutely massive second biggest stadium here in Spain behind the Camp Nou in Barcelona done a little walk in today so have a seat here oh nice comfy chairs to be fair after being pitch side you then come back up the tunnel the other way into the away team dressing room quite a feature with every single ground you go into the away team dressing room just isn't as you know nice as the home team dressing room but it's not bad not the worst i've seen Hello. Hello. come through here and the away team basically just has the same sort of facilities uh, to be honest, it's just where the kind of players would sit. Showers are roughly the same. Jacuzzi, weird shower, and some little ice bath, I guess. So still got all the different uh, facilities that a player would need.
another amazing performance from all of the Real Madrid players. The one time where they let themselves down was when they didn't subscribe to Footy Adventures. So once you have finished in the press room, you will come through a set of stairs to the Real Madrid club shop. Absolutely everything you could ever imagine here. Little 3D puzzle of the Bernabeu if you want it. Little team bus, 29.99. But let's go and have a look at the Real Madrid shirts. Real Madrid hats, scarves. Shirts, Afonso Ariola, Danny Carvajal, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane, Eden Hazard. Tony Cruz, Karim Benzema, Modric and Bale, two former Tottenham friends. Oh, Tottenham friends. Marcelo, Valverde, James, Lucas Vasquez, Jovic, Asensio. All the first team players. Starting and ending with the goalkeepers, Courtois. Don't mind this away kit, to be honest. Oh, is that the, oh, that's the goalkeeper shirt? I don't mind the goalkeeper shirt. Quite like the home shirt this year with the gold. Don't mind, actually don't mind this blue shirt, but not a big fan of their, I think this is their third kit, FIFA Club World Cup. So you will leave the tour in the club shop. So basically you go through all the tour, everything that we showed you and finish up in the club shop. If you want to buy anything, they've got absolutely everything that you can imagine with Real Madrid on in there. That was an absolutely amazing tour. We're going to go grab a drink, grab a coffee, tell you a little bit more about it, how much it cost, information on the actual stadium itself, when it was built, capacity, all that kind of stuff. And there's also a little giveaway as well, just to say thanks to all the subscribers. So we'll see you in a second. So the Bernabeu is just over my shoulder, just waiting for a coffee here in a cafe just over the road from the stadium. The ticket price for the tour was 25 euros per person. It was absolutely worth it. We were there probably about an hour and a half. You could spend way more time there if you want, but I would recommend to come early. We got here at 9.30 when it opened. We were the first ones through the door pretty much. There was a couple of other people waiting around before it opened, but it did seem to get a lot busier the later it went on. The stadium is pretty much slap bang in the center of Madrid, and it's really easy to get to if you're staying here in the city, with the main metro stop being Santiago Bernabeu. Nice and easy to remember, it's also the name of the stadium. But it was absolutely worth the 25 euros in coming here. So yeah, when you're in there, you get to visit so much of the stadium, you get to see the changing rooms, pitch side, museum, Champions League trophies, pretty much everything that you could imagine about Real Madrid, you get to see. And the the stadium itself was built in the 1940s and currently houses over 80,000 people. It's hosted the World Cup final in the past as well as four European Cup slash Champions League finals as well as the Copa Libertadores which was a couple of years ago between River Plate and Boca Juniors. Because today was the first video from a world famous club we decided to go into the club shop and buy a small souvenir to do a giveaway. Anyone who is subscribed to my channel and comments below will automatically be entered. If you are not already subscribed please do so now and comment below. Leave a like on the video and you will also be entered as well. We'll post it absolutely anywhere in the world and we'll pick a comment at random below so make sure you comment and we'll pick a winner within a week of this video coming out online. So good luck and whoever wins will enjoy their little piece of Real Madrid. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.